Okay, it is time to get things underway. New year, new me, right? This is going to be the schedule, hopefully, as the days and weeks go on. I want to try to get a Why I Want video out there every weekend, because this is the series that I am absolutely 100% the most proud of to be able to say I make on YouTube. Why I Want, if you're new here, is the series where we talk about prospects in the upcoming NHL Entry Draft. We've been making these videos ever since the 2018 draft, talking about the prospects, giving a scouting report, talking about what they could be, and whether or not you should want them for your hockey team. We're starting out this season, oh boy, it's 2024, right? So this is season seven. Yeah, season seven of Why I Want with a bang. Because with these videos, there's always a certain amount of hype attached to them, and they get more relevant as the year goes on. Let's start out today by talking about the guy who will lead the NHL draft class in 2024. You know him, you love him. He's none other than Team Canada and BU's Macklin Celebrini. Let's talk today about what he could be, where he's going to go in the draft, and how he plays. Macklin Celebrini is, long story short, a franchise potential prospect. If you've been on this channel for a while, you're probably used to hearing that word, franchise prospect, right? We'd been calling some guys over the years franchise, but I feel like this is one of the more appropriate times to do so. I didn't feel it was appropriate to call Owen Power a franchise prospect, nor did I think Uri Slavkovsky appropriately had that label. But for Macklin Celebrini, the follow-up to 2023's Connor Bedard, I feel like this is an appropriate title. Here's why. Macklin Celebrini is a 17-year-old forward. June 13th, 2006 is the birth date. He's from Vancouver here in BC, and he's 6 feet 190 pounds. Left-handed center, playing for Boston University in the NCAA. Right now... Macklin Celebrini is ranked to go first overall by everybody. He's ranked number one by Elite Prospects, Daily Faceoff, The Hockey News, Bob McKenzie, Craig Button, McKeens, Dauber Prospects, as well as Smot Scouting, and for very good reason. Now, we talked about this in the video a few days ago, talking about the Connor Bedard Celebrini World Junior Showcase, but part of the reason why Celebrini's profile is so interesting is because this guy is already in the NCAA, despite only being a 17-year-old player who won't turn 18 until the summer of this year. This is because Macklin Celebrini went through accelerated schooling as a high schooler in order to achieve NCAA status early. Not only is this guy a superstar stud athlete, but he's also got the brains to be able to keep up and the discipline to follow through. Celebrini being in the NCAA at 17 is already a pretty big deal. So the fact that he's gone out there with 25 points in 15 games just cements even further how stacked his entire profile appears to be. He suited up for Team Canada at the World Juniors this season, had 8 points in 5 games played, 4 goals, 4 assists, highlighted by that one 5-point game that he had. He was the top scorer on Canada, which is honestly kind of embarrassing when you think about what this Canadian squad was supposed to be able to achieve, as well as the slumping tournament that we had seen from a lot of these guys. But I digress. All World Junior Canadian criticisms aside... Macklin Celebrini was just an absolute stud of a player, and you could see that every time he touched the puck. To get a clearer idea, though, as to how good Macklin Celebrini's season has been, not just at the World Juniors, but in the NCAA, here's the top scouting report written by Kyle Cushman on the score, as posted on MyNHLDraft.com. This is from December 11th. What Celebrini is doing right now at Boston University is remarkable considering his age. We've seen draft-eligible freshmen like Adam Fantilli and Jack Eichel dominate over the past decade, but we haven't seen it from someone as young as Celebrini in decades. Again, because those guys were born in the later parts of their draft-eligible years, they were able to make the NCAA because they were 18 by the time they started school. When this season is over, Celebrini will still be 17. When Eichel and Fantilli were doing their thing and they were getting the same amount of points that Macklin Celebrini is on pace for right now, they were a full calendar year older than Celebrini is when he's been doing all this stuff. And to help us out even further, we've got some more scouting reports on my NHL draft. This is from my buddy Hattie K. He writes that 
Macklin Celebrini jumpstarts offensive transitions with solid defensive positioning, great intensity, and a refined technique in board battles. Once the puck is secure, he has the ability to either skate it out himself while evading pressure with his crossovers, or to find an outlet and outrace backcheckers who open ice in order to make himself a shooting threat. Steven Ellis of Daily Faceoff wrote this after dealing with shoulder surgery over the offseason, it would have made sense if Celebrini had a slow start to his freshman year. Instead, he's the NCAA's leading scorer and on pace to crush Jonathan Tave's record for most goals scored by a U18 NCAA player since 2000 when he potted 22. Scott Wheeler wrote this that Celebrini is an intelligent off-puck player who understands timing, routes, and how to get open and make himself available without the puck on his hands. He's a plus-level skater, he's a hard-working player defensively, and into battles and races for pucks. He's got dynamic puck skills that allow him to break down opponents and coverage at speed. And, just to round everything out, Corey Pronman wrote this saying that Macklin Celebrini checks every box you want in a top prospect. He skates well, he's very skilled and creative, making a ton of plays, and he can shoot the puck very well. He competes hard. For all intents and purposes, we can say that Macklin Celebrini is just a total superstar caliber prospect. And I know we just had Connor Bedard last year. And I'm not saying Celebrini is going to be Bedard on pace for 70-80 points in his first NHL season, but I will say, when it comes to the talent profile of other first overall guys taken in previous years, I'd probably take Celebrini over Owen Power, I'd probably take him over Uri Slavkovsky, and based off of what we know about Alexi Lafreniere now, you could very well say that's a possibility too. And it's not even just the skills, you know, the shooting, the playmaking, how he's able to control and command respect on the ice, even if he's playing against older competition. It's also the work ethic and the attitude this guy has. To help us out with that, we're going over onto an article published on NHL.com from earlier in December. This article and everything else that we talk about will be linked in the description if you want to see the sources, but this piece was published back in December talking about how Macklin Celebrini made the World Junior Team for the Canadian roster. If you scroll down in this piece published by Mike Zeisberger, it goes over some comments made by Alan McCulley, the Philadelphia Flyers assistant general manager. He had this to say about Macklin Celebrini's game. I've always felt that what separates special players from the pack is that they have the ability to sense and feel the game at a different level. They're always a step ahead mentally in terms of knowing where the next play is, for themselves, in those situations and areas that don't seem open to them. In this instance, in the one play that's being referenced in the quote, Macklin Celebrini is able to sort out who's open, who's not open, and make the play quickly. He's spinning around, he's facing one direction on that play, and he still finds the defenseman coming in. Everything about him is above the level of the norm, and he should be able to use those attributes to transition to the NHL easily, smoothly, and quite possibly, quickly. This same article has some comments made by Jay Pandolfo, who is Celebrini's coach in BU, who used to play in the NHL himself. He says that Macklin Celebrini is a pretty complete player for someone so young. He plays the game the right way. He's another high-end offensive talent, but he plays just as hard on the defensive side of the puck. Another thing, he never takes a shift off. He's a competitive a player as you'll find, he plays between the dots, he's the furthest thing from a perimeter player. The other thing about him is that he lives for big moments. The bigger the moment, the more of a difference maker he wants to be. He prepares for them, whether it's conditioning, watching video, however he can, and the fact that he's been around pro athletes with his dad, he's seen what it takes to succeed. This kid is special. He's prepared for this. I can't predict what will happen over there at the draft, but I'll tell you this. He's going to be the captain of an NHL team not too far down the road. And that is a lot of praise to go out there and say for a guy who has not even been drafted yet. So, when it comes to Celebrity, if you wanted to think about a player comparable, I'd been seeing a lot of people toss out Jonathan Taves, maybe with a bit more point production capability. Not to disrespect Jonathan Taves, because he was, of course, one of the best two-way forwards and centers we had seen in the NHL the past 20 years, but Taves only maxed out at a career high of 81 points in an NHL season. Does Celebrini have the chance to beat that? I'd honestly say it's fairly possible. But when it comes to the seriousness, when it comes to the attitude, just the no-nonsense mentality, the offensive awareness, the IQ, the two-way stability, and the defensive impact, Macklin Celebrini is a one-of-a-kind player. 
Head-to-head -head against Adam Fantilli, who went third overall last year, you could very well say that Celebrini is on top because of that age difference. He's doing all of this, whereas other guys like Eichel and Fantilli had an extra year's worth of development time under their belts because of their later birth dates. Celebrini, in my opinion, has the potential to becoming a first-line captain player on an NHL team, maybe with 90-point potential in the show. Not gonna lie. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to whether or not you see Celebrini in the same way, whether or not you see similar skills or a similar projection. Of course, this is only a ceiling. Everything needs to go right for him to accomplish this type of a feat of 90 plus points with a C on his chest, but I'd say it's possible. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of Macklin Celebrini? I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99 and bye.